global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Today and uh, some few hours ago, actually, um, Peter B was in Ibadan or your state in particular, and um, indeed, a fairy fairy by the banjo and the likes came through for Peter B. Yes, a fairy fairy is strongly obedient, but there's something unique uh, according to Bishop P O. Evang, uh, I think the social media, one of that's his social media handle, who raised an alarm that took place uh, sometime within, uh, during the um, rally in Oyo State, where Peter Obi uh, mounted the podium to speak with um, obedience, those who came out strong for him. And there was a security alert, security breach, he raised. And a lot of Nigerians are wondering, the young man, according to him, uh, was in the pathway of Peter Obi, as in he was sure that Peter Obi is going to pass that route, and he said to hold a some sort of um, dangerous weapon on him. No one was going to find out what all that. And what Nigerians are saying literally before now, we actually had always been saying. I, for one, have always believed that Peter Obi needed better security. Uh, yes, he's a nice guy. He's a good guy. He has not offended anyone. But the truth of the matter, he is a change agent. And he does not need to physically offend anyone. His movement is already an offense to most people. He doesn't need to call anybody idiot for somebody to say you have offended me. The fact that he wants to bring positive change, a new era, a new Nigerian era, is enough to bring him much enemy. So personally, from me to him, please, Mr. Obi, uh, please, sir, get a bit more uh, security conscious. Have enough security around you. Nigerians love you and we don't play with you at all. Your life now, like somebody will say, or oh God, your life does not belong to you now, it belongs to Nigerians. Please, we are carrying the whole of 200 million Nigerians, so please don't joke with your life. It's very important to us. Okay, but before we go to this propaganda, subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's find out exactly what happened. According to Bishop P.O. Evang, he said, face of the guy who was caught with a dagger in Ibadan today, he is not a DSS, uh, not a police, not even a bouncer, not a security personnel. And he said he's going to upload a video. He just stood where Peter B will pass the walkway. If we not try this nonsense with us, World War II not play well. And the Nigerians have been reacting to what he said of that. Look at how well dressed he is. Can you imagine his face? Agbelo. Uniroshi. Agbelo. Look at his face. Do you understand? And looking at his face, I don't want to, you know, so to speak, judge him. But looking, he's dressed like a gentleman, but uh, his face is actually speaking something different. He's not a security personnel, but yet, you know, he they, how he found his way through that process beats the imagination. But Nigerians have been reacting to this because it concerns Peter Obi. This one here is saying, uh, why is his face still fresh, smooth and normal, as in what it baliti with this world? And the person here says, how are we... How are we sure this was not staged? Why would someone want to kill a man who will come distant for folks for God's sake? You call it distant for let the time comes. Let the time come when you call it distant for the first time will tell. And that person is saying, um, I just know it's not this. And that person know the cap putting you know no. And that person is saying, uh, they should run a background check, all his contacts in the last forty eight hours. Calling and call out travels, locations, and meetings should be pulled up and vetted. Nigeria is sitting on the keg of gunpowder. Another person here says, We need to find out what is going on. Identify yourself, identify yourself. And why you, what is what is on your waist? Why can you bring a dagger here? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh God, you guys do not let him go. You don't, don't let him go. Who are you working with? Mr. Nanka. Why you follow come here? Listen to me. No, 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 no. 
Don't take him out. Hey, hey. Don't take him out. Who did you come here with? Who did you come here with? Who? Who? Who did you come with? Come with this name. Who did you come with? Who did you come with? Guy, but this is my only hope to a new Nigeria. I cannot allow somebody to kiss you with a dagger. Who allow him? Okay, but that's true though. Uh, this one here is saying more to this than meets the eyes. Another person here reacting to uh, what um, the e e Evang wrote. He said, do not, I repeat, do not hand him over to security personnel. You should have taken him to a secluded area where information will be extracted from him by any means possible before revealing this. The Nigerian security system, I know, will cover him up and release him soon. Mm. Another person here says, he should be questioned, Jesus Christ, honestly. Another person is as if you care. Another person here is the reason we, we always say PO needs to be security conscious. He's too accessible for a presidential candidate. Honestly, oh, let's leave sentiment as a yes, he's a simple man. Yes, he's a nice guy. Don't forget PO here is a billionaire. Oh. It's not hey, forget the fact that he's a humble man. Uh, his caliber usually go with security bouncers, uh, personal securities, you know, heavy you know, cladded security. I'm surprised he just, yes, he's trying to probably get uh, in tune or in sync with Nigerians, but this we are in, actually in their moment, their times, and he needs to really, honestly, sentiment aside, be security conscious. And that person says, why in face comes still fresh like that? Now, no upper court. <laughs> I don't know. And that person says, especially with, with them, suppose they don't do deck since Nigerians are provoking. And that person says, thank God their mission failed. My father, please keep protecting Peter. Gregory will be everywhere he goes. Let me also say a big amen to that. And the person he should be thoroughly interrogated. And we want to know his sponsors. And please, nothing like he died during interrogation or, or in custody. We must get to the bottom of this. Please, let's give this security man the sec let's give this man the security they deserve, like the president and the vice they are. Honestly, uh, uh, look, um, that it is a big boy. Financially, is a big boy. I, I believe they can actually afford any kind of security they want. But I think there's an impression they're trying to create in Nigeria that we are very accessible. Uh, we are we are people you could always meet, reach out to. Uh, we are not that high and mighty people. Whatever it is, we, you are giving us your mandate. We promise to keep it well. But we all will understand also if you have security personnel. Okay, there's nothing arrogant about it there's nothing puffy about it nigeria is is a country that is not so secured okay so we will understand as nigerians as electorate uh, as those who are supporting you if you go with some degree some measure of security and the security should be so serious such that before you even come into a city there should be checks okay and if you're going to use a stadium there should also be checks Okay, and let it be that there are people that will move ahead of you, spread, you know, shifting the crowd. I know that these guys are whole, Obi Dati, that's that Yusuf also is a humble person and all, but I know prior to this time, they usually don't move around where people begin to drag them, begin to try to touch them, but I think they should please take their lives more seriously. Both Obi, Obi, Peter Obi, and also uh, Yusuf uh, Dati, they're all important to wrap it up. Let's meet in that conversation. What's your take on all this? Please, Lord, protect Peter Gregory Obi and Yusuf Dati Ahmed. Let's have, let's discuss. Have a nice time. God bless you. Bye.